Before I became an evangelical Christian, my initial exposure to Christianity came from having attended more traditional churches while growing up. Um, my mother was Catholic, while my dad came from an Anglican family background. As a child, I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy at the age of two. As a result of having a physical disability, I obviously couldn't do the things that boys my age could do. While other kids would be playing football or tag, I would just be sitting it out watching from a distance. As I grew up, I found myself becoming rather withdrawn and introverted as an individual. So as a result of that, it was very easy for me to become interested in things like religion, spirituality, and philosophy. While I was at university, um, I majored in English literature in the hopes of perhaps becoming an author, and I also took a minor in secular religious studies. I was honestly fascinated by the study of the world's major religions and how through the ages mankind strove to express what seemed to be a longing to understand the divine. It was during my second year of study, around August 2002, that someone invited me to a church service that was held by one of the Christian student ministries on campus. Now, at that time, I was a, a very shy 19-year-old and I was up to my neck in head knowledge from all the stuff that I was learning in my classes. And just like any typical art student, I walked in thinking that I knew everything. But on that weekend, everything I thought I knew was about to be shattered. First of all, people were worshipping God, and it wasn't just some contemplative ritual. I could see that these people were 100% sure that the subject of their faith was not just real, but personal. As I heard the preaching, I discovered that the God that I spent the past two years studying from an academic viewpoint was God of holiness, a God who cared a great deal about whether we as his creation lived up to the requirements of his law, that one day we would die and have to face him personally to give an account for our sin. Now, this was simply mind-blowing. I realized that all my years of study were nothing compared to discovering who God really is, that in his eyes I was not a... Let me also say that the first thing you learn very quickly as a Christian is that you aren't alone in your journey. From the very first day of being born again, you find yourself constantly learning and discovering new things, simply because you both have a new desire for the things of God, as well as there being people who are gifted in helping you grow and mature. You discover that the love that God expresses to you as a believer is common to all genuine Christians, not just some. That there are those who, in other circumstances, would be perfect strangers, and yet they suddenly become your closest friends and family. They are there to help you, to teach you, and to be there when times get tough. When you are in God's church, and His children both love God and love each other, you can never get bored. And just when you think you've got all covered, there's nothing new to learn, that everything goes well, God just shows up again, and shows you that the vision and plan that he has for you is merely the tip of the iceberg.